Hey, what is up investors? I'm Jason. In this video, we're going to be talking about these blockchain mining stocks again. We're going to be taking a look over at the entire crypto market, mainly covering Bitcoin, Ethereum, and even Dogecoin, and then taking a little bit of a gander at everything else. But I'm seeing a good amount of green in the crypto market, which is a great thing. And I also want to be talking about what I'm seeing that these crypto miners are starting to do. Uh, they're, they're looking like they're all going more towards Ethereum now because there has been more money paid on Ethereum in the month of May. So I think here in June, that's going to be the next big catalyst for all these miners, I think a lot of them are going to start making some shifts into mining more Ethereum, but of course, still mining their Bitcoin. And the big thing, uh, as we know with all these miners, is th they're all holding on to all the cryptocurrencies that they're mining. So they have that on hand, as well as they're obtaining interest from everything that they're holding. So they have uh, more revenue streams other than just holding onto the cryptocurrency themselves. Because a lot of people wonder, why would you buy the blockchain mining stocks over buying the actual cryptocurrency? And that's one of the big things is that the revenues are two parts. They're, they're getting it from the cryptocurrency that they're mining. And at the same time, they're getting interest from what they mine so uh, it brings up a little bit more there so as we get to it if you guys don't mind please do me a huge favor please be sure to smash destroy annihilate or gently press that like button because that helps me out a lot with the youtube algorithm helps spread these videos to more people who might find it interesting subscribe if you have not already and if you want to be uh, helping out this channel even more i do have a patreon the link is in the description and there's a private discord available to all the patreons where i'm on there all the time now let's get to it Now looking at the crypto market, now my numbers here are all based off of Pacific Standard Time, so uh, everybody's going to look different. But what we see is we see all green here currently at the moment, which is great. Now looking over at what Bitcoin currently is doing, we have Bitcoin moving along pretty nicely. Uh, it's looking a lot much better. If we look at it from the last five days, we can see that Bitcoin has been trending up, which is great. Of course, Bitcoin is obviously down a lot from where it was over the last month. But we're seeing it starting to slowly trend back up here over the last five days. I like seeing that. Now, take a look over at what Ethereum is doing. We can see that uh, Ethereum is also having a much better day. If we look at it from the last five days, we can see that it is moving up, trending up really nicely here. And, of course, Ethereum has... Uh, had a bit of a dip as well from where it was over the last month. But at the same time, Ethereum is looking much better uh, than Bitcoin is because Ethereum also had a large increase in its price in May and then it had some pullback as well. So not as bad of a hit for Ethereum as it was for Bitcoin. And, and just to give everybody a better look here, uh, Ethereum over the last three months, it's still up quite a bit. It's, un it's not the same as uh, what we saw with Bitcoin. Now, to go over to Dogecoin here, look at what Dogecoin is doing over the last five days. Dogecoin has been trending up really nicely. I really like seeing that Dogecoin has been making some very positive moves here. Now we're seeing Dogecoin above 40 cents, which is great, and especially for everybody that was holding on to dogecoin before elon musk was on that snl episode when we saw dogecoin get to 60 cents and pe people started selling out especially when it got to above 70 cents just a lot of people started unloading their dogecoin at that time and then the price came crashing down as a lot of it ended up hitting the market and now we're seeing it start trending back up and this is a very big climb here that it is doing at this moment so very nice to see that and hopefully this could continue and we can start seeing a really nice run on Dogecoin again. Now, when we see a lot of green in the crypto market, that also does transfer back over to the blockchain mining stocks. Now, we do see a little bit of red in here, but there's also some, uh, of course, controversies going on in certain areas where the mining is going on. Now, looking at what the big ones, Mira and Riot, are doing, we're seeing green. We like seeing that because those are some big Bitcoin miners. Now, just to go over what we're seeing overall between all these is the entire performance of what the drop in Bitcoin and Ethereum has done. Every single one of these blockchain mining stocks right now, you'll see this same trend and you'll see them either kind of balance out a little bit or even do a good V-line for the most part. Now, some are a little bit different as we go into what what goes on in China, but looking at Mara, it's going to very much mirror what Riot is doing. 
see same thing with Riot. Clean Spark. Majority of it is the same thing, uh, pretty much mirrored. But then as we go into these Chinese ones with SOS, we, we see the big drop off and we're seeing a bit more stability here with SOS compared to what we're seeing with the nine. We're seeing a lot of the nine still continue dropping off as there's a lot of controversies. But as we get into what the Canadian blockchain mining stocks are doing with Hive blockchain, we're seeing this one do that drop, but we're seeing it have uh, some stability here. And then when we go into what HUD 8 is doing, also same thing, a bit more volatility with HUD 8, but at the same time, we're seeing things stop from going down and kind of balance out a bit. Now, when we go into what the UK blockchain mining company, Argo Blockchain is doing, we see it doing a bit more of a V shape here with, with Argo. And the date that I'm making this, the previous day, it was actually up above 10%. So we're seeing a little bit of pullback. But in general, we're seeing a really nice recovery with Argo Blockchain. Now I want to get to a couple pieces of news that is helping out cryptocurrencies right now. And then I want to get to a topic of Ethereum here in a couple minutes. Now, something that new that has happened is a development that has gone on in India. Because it was kind of known that there was a ban there on cryptocurrencies, or at least people thought there was a ban of cryptocurrencies in India. But now things have changed. Now, India's central bank gives clarity to banks dealing with crypto customers. The Reserve Bank of India, RBI, the country's central bank, has clarified that banks can't caution their customers against dealing in crypto, citing an old 2018 circular, which was overturned by the Supreme Court of India last year. It has come to our attention through media reports that certain banks, regulated entities, have cautioned their customers against dealing in virtual currencies by making a reference to the RBI circular dated April 6, 2018, said the RBI in an official statement on Monday. So now they're saying that this ban is no longer uh, something that is out there and hasn't been out there for a while. This allows people of India with no fear of being able to start making investments into cryptocurrencies. And this could possibly be something that has just recently changed because as India recently had a flare up of the pandemic hit really hard here over the last couple months, there has been a large amount of donations with cryptocurrencies that have been made to different programs within the country to help out people. So that might be what has changed the outlook on cryptocurrencies for the positive. Now this new piece of information right here that just came out is about Coinbase partnering with Apple and Google wallets for crypto purchases. So this is a really big thing here because this is allowing people to have access to spend the cryptocurrencies that they have on their Coinbase, it says that the cryptocurrency exchange operator says it will automatically convert all digital currencies to US dollars and transfer the funds to users Coinbase card for everyday purchases from grocery deliveries and pet supplies to home office goods and ATM withdrawals. Really cool. Now this is allowing more access, more user abilities with these cryptocurrencies, which is going to really help out these things in the long run. So another good plus for all these blockchain mining stocks and cryptocurrencies in general. And also speaking of Coinbase, they now have Dogecoin finally available on their platform. And this is also what is helping out the price of Dogecoin. And then this last piece here about Ethereum, which is very important also for all these blockchain miners. And that is that the monthly mining revenue uh, on the Ethereum blockchain reached $2.35 billion in May, according to statistics from Coinmetric, compared to $1.45 billion for Bitcoin. In February, Ethereum mining revenue narrowed piped Bitcoin $1.37 billion to $1.36 billion. Otherwise, Bitcoin mining tends to dominate for gross revenues, if not always profitability. So now we're seeing a shift here with the, the amount of money that is being made with mining Ethereum over Bitcoin. And a good amount of these uh, blockchain miners in general, not all of them are actually mining Ethereum. Uh, the um, the main ones here, Mira and Riot, they're actually doing mostly just Bitcoin. So we might see a shift with them to actually start mining more Ethereum as there is more money being made with that. But we know ones like SOS 
is doing a pretty good amount of Ethereum mining and growing that, as well as these Canadian ones, Hive Blockchain and HUD-8. They're also growing their Ethereum mining. So uh, things just to keep an eye on. But anyways, I'd like to hear everybody's thoughts and opinions about these blockchain mining stocks, cryptocurrencies, and everything else as well. So if you don't mind, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. New videos coming out on my channel all the time. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you all in the next video coming very soon.